Want to know how to maximize your home buying power regardless of mortgage interest rates? Stay tuned. Hey, it's Sean Reddy, Keller Williams Reddy Group, and that's exactly what we're discussing today. Tips and tricks on how to maximize your home buying potential regardless of what interest rates are. So of course the interest rates do play a big role in how much home you can afford. And even a small change in rates can make a huge difference in your budget. Whether rates are high or low, understanding how they impact your buying power is key to making smart decisions when it comes to purchasing a home. So let's start with what interest rates are. They are essentially the cost of borrowing money. When you take out a mortgage, the interest rate determines how much you pay the lender on top of repaying the loan itself. So higher rates can mean you'll pay more over time, and of course lower rates keep your monthly payments down and reduce the overall cost of the home. So how they impact pay, uh, monthly payments. The most immediate way interest rates impact your buying power is through your monthly mortgage payment. And here's how that works. Low interest rates equal a lower monthly payment, which means you can afford a more expensive home while staying within your budget. Flip side, higher interest rates equal higher monthly payments, which can limit the price of uh, the home you're buying and where you're shopping for homes. So let's say for example, if interest rates are low, a $300,000 home may fit comfortably within your budget, but if rates increase even by a small percentage, that same home can become too expensive based on the monthly payments alone. So let's talk about interest rates and loan amounts. So when rates rise, lenders may approve you for a smaller loan because your monthly payment would need to stay affordable based on your income and assets and liabilities. So this reduces the maximum price of the home you can afford. And on the flip side, when rates are low, lenders may approve you for a larger loan, increasing your home buying power. So that's why we're paying attention to the current interest rate environment and why it's so important to do so because it directly influences how much home you can afford to buy. Talk about the long-term costs of higher interest rates. Even if you can manage a higher monthly payment, interest rate, higher interest rates mean you'll pay significantly more over the life of the loan provided you don't refinance it. For example, on a 30-year mortgage, a 1% increase in rates could result in tens of thousands of dollars in additional interest paid over the life of that loan. That's money that could be going towards home improvements, towards savings, or other financial goals you might have. Talk about locking in rates and why timing matters. If rates are low when you're able to buy, locking in that rate can save you money over the life of the mortgage. We already discussed that. Most lenders offer a rate lock, which guarantees your interest rates for a set period of time, usually 30 to 60 days. When you finalize your home purchase, this protects you if rates do rise uh, before you close on your home. Conversely, if rates are high, but you need to buy a home, there are options to refinance later when rates do drop and refinancing allows you to get a lower rate down the line, reducing your monthly payment and overall interest costs. So here's how to maximize your buying power in any market. Interest rates, of course, fluctuate. They've done a lot so in the last couple of years or even the last couple of months, but there are strategies you can use to maximize your buying power no matter what the market looks like. Number one, you want to boost your credit score. The better your score, the lower your interest rate. Pay off debts, make on-time payments, and avoid taking on new credit to give your score a boost before applying for a mortgage. Number two, shop around for lenders. Don't settle for the first interest rate you're offered. Different lenders may offer different rates based on your financial profile, so it pays to shop around for the best deal. Number three, make a larger down payment. The more you can put down up front, the less you'll need to borrow. This helps reduce your monthly payments and offsets the impacts of higher interest rates. Interest rates may just seem like a number, but they do have a direct impact on your home buying power and your overall budget. By understanding how rates affect your monthly payments and loan amount and taking those steps to improve your financial position, you can make the most of your money and find the home that's right for you no matter what the market is doing. And interest rates, like I said, have been, um, we'll just say a little volatile lately. So if you are ready to make a move and you just don't know where to start, get in touch. We'll get started. We'll help align you with the best lenders in the business. 
Thanks so much for watching. Again, Sean Reddy, Keller Williams Reddy Group. I want to be a real estate resource for you. So don't hesitate to reach out in the comments, find me on social media, uh, or just hit the subscribe button and make sure to tune into the next video. We'll see you next time.